How's it going, everybody? This is Derek again with West Dallas Blue. Uh, we have the driver downloaded here now. It is in our downloads folder. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to extract this file. So we will double click it and we will get a prompt just saying self ex self extractor uh, you know with the, the driver name so we'll hit OK and it's going to make another folder wherever this file is so typically I put this on our desktop uh, but for the sake of this video so you don't have a bunch of stuff on my desktop I just did it in my downloads folder so now we have a folder named the same as the, the self extract application so we will open that folder and this is a 64-bit computer so we will just click 64-bit and at the bottom there is a setup application we are going to double click that and if you don't have administrative credentials it will ask you to prompt yes or no so we will hit yes and we're going to go through the prompts so we will hit next and you can read through this is the Canon software license agreement hit yes and there are three ways to set up your printer uh, I personally do the manual set port at install depending on your network you can select search for network printers to install and hit next and it'll search the network for them or if you're not using a network printer and you're using a USB cable, you can select install with USB connection and click next and it'll walk you through that. For this installation, we're going to do manually set port to install. So we'll hit next and we are going to add printers. I have a bunch of other printers on this machine already. Uh, so we will hit next. The machine that we are installing is a Canon IPF 780. So we'll hit add and then next and so here's where I have to create the port so what I'm going to do is select add port select standard TCP IP port and hit OK and then this wizard comes up and we go next we put the IP address of our printer for the printer name or IP address and then you'll also notice that the port name is also the same as the IP address hit next it's going to search for that device once it sees it it will give you this screen and we hit finish and then we just follow the prompts out so now we hit next start and then this is just a warning saying once you start it you can't stop it you hit yes and it will install the driver and register the machine on your computer all right and once your computer is done installing the driver it will bring you to this screen just telling you that it is complete now if this is a fresh install of this driver you will not need to restart your computer so we'll hit exit typically you wouldn't get this notification but since I already have a bunch of stuff on here that I've deleted so I could install a fresh driver for everyone uh, it's asking me to restart I am not going to restart. Uh, so now that the driver's installed, there's still a couple of settings that we need to change. So for Windows 10 computers, I always just use this search box. Uh, if you have Windows 7, down in the bottom left, you'll have a little round start menu icon. You can click that, and on the menu on the right hand side, you will see uh, devices and printers. But for Windows 10, what I typically do is go to control panel and this is the default layout for control panel um, I always change the view by from category to small icons and we are going to select devices and printers so here you can see here's all the printers that are installed on, on my computer uh, yours will probably look relatively similar uh, here's the Canon 780 that we just installed so we are going to right click on it and select printer properties and then preferences so when you hit preferences it opens this window uh, and these are the, the typical settings that I change and your settings may vary a little bit depending on what it is that you're going to be printing but for line drawings 
under preferences, the first thing I change is this print quality in the middle of the window. It comes defaulted at 600 DPI. I lower that to 300 DPI. That way it prints the fastest. It also saves you the most ink. And for line drawings, you will never notice a difference. Uh, now, if you're going to be doing color renderings, you may want to leave that at standard 600. Or for posters or higher quality imagery, you'll actually want to go up to high 600. Now, just remember, from standard to high, you're using twice as much ink as the fast, and it's going to print roughly half the speed. Uh, so it, will, it, it won't be as fast, but the quality and the color clarity is going to be better the higher up this list you go. But again, we're setting this up for line drawings, so we're going to leave it at fast. And then the next setting is under page setup. On page setup, the first thing we change on this tab is the page size. You can see it comes defaulted at 8.5 by 11. We are going to change that. This machine is going to be printing primarily 24 by 36, which are Architect D drawings. So from the drop down, we will go to Arch, and then over and down to D, 24 by 36. On this machine, we're also going to be running 36 inch wide media. So in the middle of the window where it says Orientation, we are going to select Landscape. And then just below that, a good rule of thumb when it, with Canons, Anytime you have landscape selected, you want to have this rotate page 90 degrees to conserve paper box checked. And if you look at the R in the printer, if you turn that off, it's still showing as a portrait document. But when you turn it on, it turns it sideways. So that way, on 36 inch wide media, a 24 by 36 inch document will print out a full 36 inches wide and only use two feet out of the length of the roll. That way, you're maximizing your paper use. We'll hit apply and OK, and OK. And so now you are ready to print an Architect D on your new Canon printer.